What's up guys? Welcome back to Lake Town. In this episode, we are pretty much going to be continuing the business as usual. I've checked over the priorities, made sure that we have one person really focusing on cleaning and another person really focusing on hauling, and then a few of them kind of just a few others backing them up, I should say. So uh, the first thing that we're really going to try to work on is trying to get all of these mechs disassembled because it was suggested that maybe I should go ahead and get rid of them. Uh, that way we can take advantage of the resources and also um, just this stockpile is completely full and it's it's kind of hard for me to tell that it's completely full because graphically these centipedes are so huge but yeah it it looks pretty much completely full I see like one tile there and uh, it was also mentioned that, that was probably the reason that someone couldn't bury the or not bury but cremate the corpses is because they didn't have that temporary storage to put the bodies in and then haul them over to the cremation area uh, so it's pretty much just, you know, me not paying attention, <laughs> which uh, seems to happen a lot in, in this game. Um, another thing that was suggested is that we work on making some dusters, because dusters would probably work better in our climate. So we're going to we're gonna see about making a set of dusters. We have eight people right now, and I set up Squirrel, who is our primary crafter, to go ahead and start working on eight duster jackets. Um... I'm thinking about moving everyone because there are eight people and there are nine rooms in here. Uh, moving everyone over to this space uh, specifically because once we recruit melee, if we recruit melee, um, he'll he'll still have a room and then we can start using these little ones uh, up here by the like the farm area. I did notice that uh, these rooms do get pretty hot during the summer. Uh, right now it's only 40 outside, but in this room it is 60ish. So it works pretty well for keeping the room warm, but during the summer it just gets too hot because I noticed a few of them had uh, slept in heat debuffs. So we want to try to keep them as happy as possible. Other than that, I think they're really nice rooms. Uh, they're a little dirty right now, which makes sense because we had fires and stuff kind of go through here. So what I might do is what I originally talked about is just walling off this back section, so taking out those vents. Um, and then putting a heater in one room and then a vent through the wall or something like that. Um, I'm also actually curious if a heater takes up a block to where it wouldn't be considered sharing a bedroom. Like if I just broke like that section of wall for instance, put a heater there, if it would count as them sharing a room. You know what, let's try it. Let's deconstruct this wall. There's Duster, what's Duster doing? Meditating. Uh, sorry, we're gonna we're gonna interrupt your meditation uh, with some some sledgehammers and such. I want to test this out because I want to see if this. I'm assuming it'll still count as sharing a room because this isn't filling up a full space. But uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. And I, oh, mad animal, just a squirrel. He, uh, he probably won't last too, too long. Squirrel is working... <laughs> the mad squirrel. I found the mad squirrel. Um, nope. That was quick. I really wish I could... I, I keep telling him to prioritize, and he goes and does it once. But what are you doing? You're making an artillery shell? No, disassemble mechs. Okay. This is... Why is that above there? I don't want this above there. No. No bad squirrel. <laughs> Alright, so we have this set up, so we'll be able to check that out uh, pretty soon. It's really hot in there now that I put that heater in. Uh, I'm going to set that to be toggled off. I just want to see if it counts as a space. Um, another thing I don't think I mentioned, uh, the reason we're switching over to dusters is not only for climate, but uh, it was mentioned, and you know, I, I checked the wiki, uh, that parkas also slow down their work speed and they do uh, which is something that I I haven't known and I never really thought about it it makes sense having a really big bulky parka covering you know your arms and stuff uh, trying to move and do labor and stuff like that uh, it slows down their global work speed by 20% I believe it said so that's another thing that we need to consider and this counts as sharing a room so it's not gonna work but it is only five so it's only a minus five, and I might be okay with that. 
I don't know. I mean, I would be completely okay with this. They have their own beds. They have their own little sitting areas. It's just like a little space in a wall. But now one guy's got to have the heater. And then... Uh, the other one has to have... Or doesn't have a heater in the room. So it's not really fair to that person. I guess what I could do is door off this area. That's what I might do. Oh no, I can't because if... Actually, I could. We could build a little, uh, dig out this little section right here and put a couple heaters back there and then door put doors on the section to keep the heat from the geothermals out. And then uh, just let these guys keep their vents. We might try that out. Uh, so we're working on trying to get melee still. 74. Hopefully that'll get going pretty soon. Where's Squirrel? What's, what's Squirrel doing? Squirrel's still sleeping. Sleeping it off. He about to wake up and he's gonna go get some breakfast. Squirrels are hungry. Wearing worn out apparel. What's your gear like, buddy? It's these vests. Alright, so uh it was asked, is it really worth it to use these tattered vests? Um I I personally think it is. I know it gives him the debuff and apologies if, if that beep got picked up, I'm sure it did. I forgot to uh mute my cell phone. Um I mean, this is a 25% quality normal vest, and you can see it still gives us a 26.7% armor protection from sharp objects, so bullets, knife, uh, stabs, and animal bites, and then we still get almost a 9% protection for blunt objects, so it says clubs, rock falls, and explosions. Um, so even a 25% vest, I personally think is worth it. Um, just, I mean, it... I'm looking at it from a stat perspective. Anything, something is better than nothing in this case. Um, so I think that them having that mood debuff, like I've said before, I think it's silly that they have it at all. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's worth it just because it gives them a, a little bit of extra protection. Not that we necessarily need it with this sort of row of gunfire we have with the turrets as soon as people walk in, but yeah. This place is actually getting cleaned up quite nicely. Look at Scottish going around doing some work. Giyu is also set to clean. Uh, this, is, this is working quite nicely. Do the mechs, buddy. Do the mechs. This is what's going to happen. Suspend. Do the mechs. What do we got going over here? Nothing. Good. What do we got going over here? Suspend the great bows. Actually... No, suspend the great bows. <laughs> Just don't make a great bow. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click that there. We don't need any more great bows. Uh, we have good quality shotgun, which is nice. A couple good quality, or a good quality pistol. Now we got three good quality pistols. That's pretty nice. I know we picked up an LMG. There it is right there. It surprised me. I, I completely forgot that we had it, uh, but it was just laying up here. This place is actually getting cleaned up quite nicely. Hopefully we can get a trader so we can get some more. I believe these are marble. Yeah, they're marble tiles. That way we can at least finish the section that I have blueprinted out for the game. Um, and then maybe like this path up here and then this section. I don't know. It would be nice to finish it. Just so I'm not looking at these white tiles all the time. Yeah. I don't know. We'll get it done. I'm sure we will. Squirrel is... What is Squirrel doing? Oh. Suspend all of things. Squirrel is doing literally everything except for what I want. <laughs> That's fine. He can do that. That's okay. I'm okay with that. We have lots of slag up here that needs to get taken care of. In fact, let's make sure the, the bill covers it. Yeah, it covers that area. So, you know what? Do the electric smelter. Do the machining table. Squirrel, you got this, buddy. You are doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Alright, well, I need to pause the recording just for a moment to check my phone. Uh, so, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to pause the game and then pause the recording and bring you guys right back so you won't miss a thing. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright. Sorry about that. So... What do we got going on? Still lots of cleaning to do. This area, particularly over here in this section, uh, still quite messy. 
I mean, it's not as bad because it's a dirt section. Do I want it this messy? Not really. I would like it nice and clean. But we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. Uh, we need to actually... We don't need to rebuild this section, but I know um, I wanted to actually make proper walls for all of these rooms because like, it's easier to see up here just because it's lit. Uh, let's check out this beauty meter. Come on, there we go. Uh, it's not working for the walls. You're making you're making me look bad. For some reason, this doesn't count as dirty. These rocks on the floor, which is kind of weird. Look at these beds, 68. We have some cargo pods. We'll check those out in a moment. Um, rock or sandstone walls. Do they show the beauty? They don't. Is it gonna show? Is it because I have them fixed? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is gonna be really hard for you guys to see, and I apologize for that. Uh, but the the smooth stone floors are actually a beauty of three. The just regular rock walls are negative two, so that's why I swapped out all these bedrooms, and I believe I've talked about this before. Uh, that's why I wanted to do all of these down here. So you can see this room right here would actually be pretty nice if it weren't for the rock walls. Um, I think rock wall or not rock walls, but smooth stone floors are actually yeah. So we have wood as one, carpet as two, and then we have the uh, the block floors is two. So that's interesting. Concrete just is no. Concrete's a no. <laughs> Seeing these power conduits is negative two. That kind of is unfair. I feel like that should be something that's underground. Um, but yeah, smooth stone floors are actually the prettiest floors in the game right now. Which is kind of weird. Negative 29? Come on now. Don't be like that. Meat is beautiful. All right. Yeah, so that's one thing that we're going to work on eventually. We have 256 slates, so we could work on it pretty soon. Scottish, clean out the front gates. I was thinking about what I could do to this area to make it a little bit nicer. Thinking about maybe putting uh, maybe some, some flowers along the front. Uh, and let's check out the cargo pods that I already forgot about. We have some boom rat meat. If they get it, they get it, and if not, then that's fine too. What's over here? We have lots of stuff just kind of <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, silver. Not really interested in this other stuff. I do want that deconstructed, though. Just to make it a little harder on them. Um, but I don't mind if they use these sandbags, because this is actually a decent place for our snipers to come in. Um, what else we got going on? But yeah, I was thinking about maybe putting in some, some flowers or something up front. See how it goes. Is this fertile? It is rich soil. That's really nice, actually. Uh, this would have been a really good growing spot for us. Um, we have the exotic goods trader we need to check out, which means we need to find our man Scottish, who's hauling some rice to the fridge. You can finish carrying that, buddy. Alright, and now you're hauling rice to the other fridge because it's getting used. Look at you doing work. He's like, guys, I just moved this. Come on now. Now he's taking, he's taking more rice to the freezer. Scottish, are you in like a loop? Okay, you're gonna go chat with the prisoner. How about you call the exotic goods trader? Uh, marble tile, if they have them, which I'm pretty sure they won't. And let's see, we can sell a lot of stuff. So let's sell this, let's dump our gold. I don't really care about waiting for a better price. You know, that's a lot of silver. Let's go ahead and get it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of all of these jackets that aren't super high quality, or at least durability. That's <laughs> 1% steel military helmet that I feel like maybe it should have just went ahead and disintegrated. It was so close. So close. Let's get rid of this stuff. We have a lot of stuff in here. Thanks to the people that decided they wanted to attack us. Uh, not too much money. Actually, some of these parkas are still like this Synthroid parka. It's only 52 durability, 109 silver. That's still, still pretty good. Um, tell it. Tell it. Alright, we have, a, oh my goodness, we have so much stuff. Some of this should have been getting put in the, uh, the crematorium. I guess they just had more important stuff to do, which I'm okay with. That's totally fine with me. Uh, you guys have better stuff to do than burn clothing. I understand that. That's okay. 
Uh, we'll keep this shirt for now, and we'll keep that shirt because it's still, uh, it's not even, it hasn't lost any durability at all. Um, and I think I looked over everything pretty well. How much are we going to get? 3,132 silver. That's pretty good. If they have anything else that we want, um, awful quality vest I'm not really interested in. I do want to check. Yeah. This awful quality vest at 100% durability is actually less protection than a 25% normal. So, yeah. I'm going to stop talking about the... <laughs> about the armor and clothing sort of thing with the the mood penalty and how I think it's silly so don't don't worry about it I'm gonna stop talking about it uh, let's get another prosthetic leg just in case you never know the AI core um, we're gonna go ahead and sell since we know that it doesn't really matter um, we are stupidly stocked on medicine 87 regular medicine 60 herbal medicine that's really good we're gonna make five and a half grand off this five and a half thousand silver that's pretty awesome I feel like maybe we should buy eight cowboy hats for everyone <laughs> I'm doing it <laughs> I'm doing it we're getting the cowboy hats for everyone alright so this is what's gonna happen let's go into our outfits and uh, let's go ahead and switch over to summer for everyone except for our warriors we only have two warriors now? What happened? Someone died. I know Philip died. Did someone else die? I believe Duster's got a pistol. Sniper rifle. Uh, you are just a regular colonist. So that's fine. Clark has the assault rifle. Squirrel's got the great bow. He's got Philip's great bow, more specifically. Giyu is the warrior, which is fine. And Blanca has a great bow. Alright, so what we need to do is manage outfits. Let's go to summer outfit, headgear. Uh, you guys can only wear cowboy hats. These these check marks are just slightly off and it confused me for a moment. Uh, you guys can only wear cowboy hats. I'm sorry. Uh, no parkas or jackets. You can totally wear dusters though. Armor vests and such. That's okay. And also, let's uh, go to our warriors. And you guys get cowboy hats as well. Um, is this optimal? Absolutely not. Is it going to be awesome? Absolutely. All right, so let's do that. Um, I'm pretty sure power armor doesn't affect. Like, I'm pretty sure this is really good armor. Uh, I didn't actually look to see if that affects the work speed like the Parker does. I'm assuming it would, because when I think power armor, I think uh, fallout like giant armor that's what I think at least and uh, you know it kinda looks like stormtrooper armor um, all of this is completely irrelevant uh, colonist let's let's edit you again uh, you can wear the the cowboy hat no parkas or jackets just the dusters bunny and the armor vests you don't really need let's go ahead and do that and we should be nice and set up and everyone's just set to do whatever they want. Like I said before, I don't really feel a need to mess with this. They'll sleep when they're tired and I don't want to really do this whole prison architect schedule. Uh, maybe if we had more people, and by more people I mean around where Lake Town was at its prime, around 16 people, I might go ahead and set up a day and night shift. Um, but other than that, I think, I think we're okay. So... These cowboy hats need to get hauled. I bought eight of them. Apparently, Furious already has a Cobra Skin cowboy hat. Uh, Furious, that kind of makes me furious that you would use one of those. We got someone just visiting. Burrow at the desert. Uh, and let's check our factions. Because I believe we, yeah, we threw out some silver. So, Burrow at the desert, they're okay with us. Um, Bricks of Galga is okay with us. And we made a little bit more silver, so... Could potentially... Um, I forgot to rebuild those lights. We could potentially throw out a little bit more silver as well. Uh, we never rebuilt this wall because I'm bad. <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on right here. Slate wall right there. Um, and I thought I told these guys to build wooden floors underneath these, but I guess I didn't. Could have swore I did. Um, so yeah, what we're going to try to do is... 
uh, or what we are going to do rather is we're going to build uh, wooden doors in here actually I guess it doesn't really matter let's just do steel auto doors we're gonna have plenty of steel so we're gonna do steel auto doors in uh, this section and then we will deconstruct uh, one two three four it's four across huh kinda just wanted three Let's do this, and then we will uh, mine out. Actually, we don't really need to mine out anything. I think this will be fine. We'll put, uh, we'll start with one heater here and see how well it heats up all four of these rooms, and then if it's not enough, then we'll add another heater here. And these doors should keep the temperature out. Uh, I'm gonna see how it goes before I build the heaters, of course. And. Um, since I know that, have visitors, okay. Uh, since I know that um, these guys, the geothermals are weatherproof. Well, I guess not lightning proof, but uh, they won't they won't mess up in the rain. I'm going to no roof the areas with the geothermals. Um, that way it's not as hot in there in case there's a fire. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, that way people can go in and put out the fire. That's that's my thinking on the whole situation. And just because I can, we totally need another red lamp right there. It's a thing. Oh, and we lost all these too. Uh, yeah, I feel like I should count this out, but I think I kind of just want to click. You know what, let's just, let's just do it. OCD be damned. Just kind of click them through. That actually almost worked. I'm slightly pleased with that. Okay, so let's see how well this is doing. This area over here is actually, it's 72 because I unroofed it, so I guess I didn't need to build the doors. Well, I guess I would have needed to build the doors, so this would count as indoors. Um, so this is 71, it's 71, outside it is 69. Uh, 68 so it looks like it's doing a pretty good job of just staying that temperature we're gonna kind of keep an eye on it um, but I think I think that should be pretty good for now power situation is looking quite nice um, it doesn't really look like squirrel is doing a good job taking care of this haven't really been paying attention to what squirrel's been doing but you know I don't what have you been doing doesn't really look, look like you've done much in this area. I guess maybe you cleaned up this stuff right here. That's fine. Uh, this also need re needs red lamps. Obviously, it does not need red lamps, but it needs red lamps. Um, what has Squirrel been doing? Squirrel, you are a hunter first, which we're not hunting anything, which is great. And then a crafter. And then you do construction and stuff. So, I guess you've been doing stuff in here. It just doesn't look like it. Maybe he's been going out and getting the slag that was designated to be hauled away, and he's just straight taking it there instead of putting it in the dunk, the dumping stockpile, uh, which would make sense. And you guys are just absolutely killing me. I got all of this super awesome stuff for you guys, and you're just leaving it outside. Stop drinking your beer. Haul the cowboy hats. Por favor. No, we got more cowboy hats. Haul the other cowboy hats. And Ludmilla, if you could haul the prosthetic leg. Why there's a survival meal, I'm not sure. Scottish is just like, this looks like a good enough time to, to get a snack, which is always acceptable, Scottish. It is always snack time. Uh, that's not even a joke about my name being Midnight Snack. It's it's always a good time for a snack. Delicious, tasty treat. You know, maybe that was his favorite packaged meal, his favorite MRE. Maybe it was like macaroni and cheese or something. We don't know. Maybe it was the Thanksgiving dinner MRE. You never know. Uh, these up here, are they growing roses? They are. Does it matter? Not particularly. But it, it matters enough. Alright, so it's time to make sure these work. 
which it looks like they're working pretty well in the rain. That lightning scares me slightly. Uh, we still need a bit of plasteel on this, but I'm pretty sure we still have some. We don't. Ooh. We mined out all of this plasteel, so hopefully we can get some from these centipedes. That would be pretty awesome. But I think this place looks a lot better. Like, It's still a little dirty on the marble, but overall, I think they're doing a pretty good job of cleaning this place up. Getting everything hauled away, and uh, I think we should probably just go ahead and make this bigger. I've been trying to avoid making it bigger. Why? Not sure. Um, so, so let's go to dumping stockpile, and uh, we'll make it... I guess we'll just kind of like wrap it around like that and then I'll give them a little extra space to kind of haul some stuff and we'll make it a little wider up top too alright well I think that's probably gonna wrap up this episode of RimWorld nothing super exciting happens but you know not every episode can be super action-packed and I I kind of wouldn't really want it that way because we would probably be dead by now. Uh, Lake Town is, you know, it's making a comeback. We are the new up-and-coming neighborhood on this planet, uh, which I've forgotten the name of. But we are, we're hanging in there. We're, we're fighting back. Again, remembering that Scottish is the only one left alive from the original Lake Town uh, pre-Centipede War. But that's okay. Stuff happens. And we're still alive, still hanging in there. Uh, so that is going to be the end of this episode of RimWorld. So that's going to be it for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.